Alright, hello everyone, Boomdiata here, and I'm surprisingly not British, and I have some great tutorial stuff for you guys today. Um, today we're going to be doing a TF2 Outpost Grease Monkey script installation tutorial and usage tutorial. Um, yeah, that was a mouthful. Um, so, Grease Monkey uh, is a way to implement JavaScript scripts to make the user interface, the user interface of websites um, better and more functional and more pretty and stuff um because you know we just like things when they look pretty oh uh, yeah so that's what grease monkey does um and then we have the script itself which is to be used with tf2 outpost whenever you open it it'll just show awesome things this is the normal tf2 outpost web page this is very stock uh, i do have donator which is why i have the halloween theme um i'm going to turn on my tf2 outpost script we refresh the page and boom, it has been scripticized or scriptified or whatever. Anyways, I was making up words there. Uh, all right. Uh, so it's got notes in the right hand corner. It's got a um, little hide trade button. It's got a ton of more menu bar options. Um, and it's just downright more functional and easier to use and makes trading so much easier. And it's just amazing. Um, so I want to show you guys, I want to move it back to the stock, disable it in my Tamper Monkey, which I can show you how to install for Chrome really quick. Um, all right, so if you're running, this is going to work if you're running Chrome or Firefox. Um, I don't know about Safari or Internet Explorer. I haven't touched those in years, so, you know. Um, here's for Firefox. I'm not running Firefox right now, but I'm going to include all the links in the description. You want to install this add-on. It's called Grease Monkey. Uh, and then there should be an install now, download now, whatever button. Uh, I'm running Chrome, so you can't see it. Um, but anyways, yeah. And then you want, for Chrome, you want to install Tamper Monkey, which is what I've already got added to Chrome. Just click right at that button right there, and it should add it and do all the fancy stuff for you. And then you want to get this script. Again, all these links are going to be in the description. Um, and it's just for TF3 Outpost Toolbox. And uh, it's got all these amazing features and features coming soon, which I am very excited about. Stuff like um, you can export, import hidden trades, and you'll bizarre.tf prices and all this amazing stuff. But you want to click install uh, at the big green button in the upper right hand, and it should come up with a dialog box saying like OK or something. And then it's just pretty self explanatory right there. All right, let's go back to TF2 Outpost. Once you have it installed, uh, for Tamper Monkey, there's a little Tamper Monkey button, and you click it, and then click on the TF2 Outpost Toolbox script, and it should show a green one, and that will mean it's enabled. Alright, so now I got um, my script running, and uh, it shows notes on the right hand side. It has a little hide trade button, which I'll explain later, and it has it, uh, more menu options. So um, let's just start with the first custom one. Save searches, so it allows everyone to save their searches that they've done. Um, we have toggles, which I will go into actually right now. You can hide the donators, and so all my donators are gone. It'll just be free to use users. Um, <laughs> uh, and then I can show them again. Um, I'm going to show, you know, I can do item level, craft number, unusual effect. I'm going to do unusual effect. I like. Uh, Cloudy moon. All right, nothing in there. Bubbling. Okay. Have to reset it and then blizzardy. <clears throat> there aren't too many unusuals on outposts these days. That's interesting. Flying bits. Never seen that. Okay. Apparently has all these amazing. Huh. Anyways, you can sort by unusual effect. I'm sure you can take it. By my word, um, and so that's that menu, and then you have the toolbox menu where you can. Right now, all it has is uh, hidden trade stuff. So I'm gonna hide this trade. I don't want to see HK Scorps trade anymore, so I'm gonna click hide it. And I'm just going to toolbox, and it'll say hidden trade count one, and I'll never see that ever again. But I can undo that and click clear all or clear last or whatever. Um, clear all the hidden trades. And then I'll be able to see them again. 
course, it won't show up because I have to refresh the page, yada, yada, yada. But I'll still be able to see it in searches and bookmarks, um, which is nice. Extremely good function. Um, and uh, this is, yes, yeah, so that is the script for TF2 Outpost Toolbox. Uh, that's just a basic overview. overview. Well, uh, you can show the full notes and whatever, you know. Everything else um, is completely self-explanatory. Uh, and it's extremely awesome. And um, there's also an option. Uh, if you donate to the creator of the script, he will give you, um, or she, he or she will give you um, a, uh, a, a special script for you that will um, play a sound when you get a notification. So say someone adds something to your trades, it'll say like bing ding or something. I don't have the script myself. Um, and it will uh, it will play a sound whenever you get a trade offer or, or accept on your offer or comment on your offer or something of that sort. Um, yeah, so that is TF2 Outpost Toolbox. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and I hope you guys try it out and do whatever. Um, I'm going to provide a link to the person who made this script. I'm going to provide their Steam ID so that you can go donate and whatnot. Um, and uh, yeah, peace out. See you guys.